Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Morton Power. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a power day. Today, we are going to be taking a look at weekend one of the Black Ops 4 beta. More specifically, we are going to look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. But before we get into the video, the clips you're seeing are from my live streams on Twitch. And uh, if you want to go give me a follow there, link will be in the description. It's twitch.tv forward slash Morton Power 35. Um, I live stream there every single day. Uh, we'll be doing the beta there, um, blackout beta, and then the, the full game once it comes out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the beta. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start out with the good. Now, I, there's a lot of stuff that I like about the beta. Um... First of all, I like the submachine guns. I like that the subs are prevalent in the game. Um, although they, they might be a little bit too strong, but we're not going to get into that. Also, the specialists. They are fantastic. I love the specialists in Black Ops 4. I, they were okay in Black Ops 3, but in Black Ops 4, they, they work really, really well. And some of the ones... I like in particular, and you're going to be like, oh, you think you think these are great because they're overpowered. Not really. I mean, they could be nerfed a little bit, but I like the way they are. First one is Ruin. I love that his grappling hook. I love that it can't uh, attach to every surface, and you have to be tactical about where you use it. And you can also be, sh it's slow enough that you can be shot down while using it. I also like the fact that you can hit fire and still shoot while having it out. Um, the grab spike that it has is okay. It could be buffed a little bit, uh, but it's good. It has a really good radius. Um, it doesn't, you know, go through the um, through some surfaces, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, overall, Ruin is great. And then I also like Seraph uh, just because... Um, the tack beacon is it's not overpowered in a sense that you can place it and get behind people because you can only place it in certain spots like you can't it's got to be on even ground um you can't place it everywhere in the map the golden gun or her revolver is also it's good it's not great but it's good um it's not too overpowered it's not too underpowered However, you do have to have the ability to have good aim with it. Um, you can't just, you know, pop up and shoot. You got to be able to be precise with your shots. Also, I loved the health regeneration. I love it. Um, it could be slowed down just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Maybe drop it about 20%. That might be a little bit too much. Drop it 15%. Um, but other than that, auto health regeneration is a great, great thing. It makes you have to decide whether you want to heal or not. You could always, you know, say you have, you only take like 10 damage. You don't automatically have to heal right away. You know, it's, it's great. Um, I love it. Brings new tactical awareness to the game to whether you got to think, do I regen? Do I reload? What do I do? Am I in a safe position to be able to do that? Okay, guys, now we're going to get into the bad. What I don't like, um, or that could be better in Black Ops 4. Now, the first thing that I'm going to say right now is the weapon balance. The weapon balance could be a lot better in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And what I mean by that is the assault rifles and the shotguns and some of the other guns are not as strong as the assault or, or the SMGs. I said I love the SMGs and how they were. I just wish that you know they could balance it a little bit more. Drop the SMGs down a little bit. Raise the assault rifles, the shotguns, um, and the attack ARs and everything up. Um, the assault rifles could use a bit of a damage buff. Um, I don't think that they do quite enough damage. However, I think the balance, uh, um, the balance will be a lot better if um, the next thing that we're going to talk about when we get to the ugly category is fixed. But you know, for now, if they don't fix what I'm going to talk about, they, we could also use a 
buff in damage for the assault rifles probably range buff also we need a damage buff for the shotguns i literally had to two or three pump somebody in the chest and above to be able to kill them that can't happen i love being able to slide in one pump a guy with a uh, shotgun and be about it i don't have to i don't want to have to pump wait like five seconds to be able to pump them again or two and a half seconds with uh, rapid fire on, you know? Um, I want to be able to one pump a guy and be done with it. Two pump if it's anything below the chest. You know what I mean? Oh, and score streaks. Score streaks are another thing that need to be that need to be fixed. They're not they're not good and they're not ugly. They're just not great. Um, I would like a dominant score streak. And I know we haven't got to see all the score streaks, but I would like a dominant score streak. Like if you run up the score and you're you're melting people i would like to have a dominant score streak that is going to force people you know if it's like an airbase one force people inside so that you can get that close to close uh combat or you know like a land streak like a um like a um oh dang the wally thing um the little you know what i mean um I can't think of it all off the top of my head, but something that drives, you know, auto drives around and, you know, can can kill people. Now, I don't want it to be too, too, too powerful, but, you know, if you're going to dominate with your guns, you need to have a score streak that you can rely on as well to give you some protection in the air or on the ground. Alrighty, guys, last but not least, we are going to talk about the ugly. Now, the ugly, what I'm going to used to base this is something that is just completely atrocious needs to be nerfed heavily or buffed heavily um but it more so nerfed um in the game it's just it's not uh productive to the game there's two things that i'm going to talk about it's and they both go hand in hand it's health and time to kill you could nerf one or the other and it would balance it out I'm not wanting to have to put more than five bullets into a guy. Five bullets should be the max with a submachine gun to kill somebody. It should not be higher than that. I think the time to kill needs to be buffed. Like you, it t it's quicker to kill somebody. Or nerf the health to about 115 to 125. We don't need 150 in the health. That is completely, completely atrocious. Um, I thought that they would, you know, they would be like, okay, you know, um, you know, it'll, you know, give us the ability to, um, to have better gunfights and blah, 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 blah. But when you pair the, that with the body armor, which I'm going to talk about, nerfing it would be significantly better. Uh, nerf it to about 125 or or nerf it back to 100. You know what? Nerf it back to 100. And now we're going to talk about the body armor. The body armor, the way it is currently, is awful. People are saying, let's get rid of it. No, 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 no. Let's not get rid of it. I was saying get rid of it, but I've come up with a better idea. Nerf the health to 100. Let the body armor, I believe, it should give 50. 50 health. That gives you that 150 health. And if you choose to use body armor... It gives you a little bit of an advantage in a gunfight rather than a lot of advantage into a gunfight. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section what you think. What's your good, bad, and ugly? Uh, give me one thing that's good, one thing that's bad, and one thing that's ugly in the comment section. And I'll try to uh, reply to as many comments as I can. Hopefully you guys enjoy. What we're going to do over the next couple of days is I'm going to be taking videos from my Twitch stream. Games that we've played like TDM. I'm going to get um, Search and Destroy. I'm going to get Domination. I'm going to get Hardpoint. Kill Confirmed. And I'm going to try to get some control gameplay because I don't have any just quite yet. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know in the comment section um, what you think of the beta. Like, what is your overall opinion of the beta? As well as, like I said earlier, you're, you're good, you're bad, and the ugly. But that's going to do it. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, like I said, leave those comments. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, because as always, we will catch y'all on the next video.